This video is going to be about proteins. So proteins are going to be polymers of amino acids. So amino acids are going to be our monomers. So right here I've drawn two general structures of amino acids. And so there are a couple functional groups that you might recognize in these molecules. So every amino acid is going to have an amino group as well as a carboxylic acid group. That's easy to remember because they're amino acids. So left to right be amino acid. And so just like how we make any other kind of polymer, these two amino acids are going to be joined together by a dehydration or a condensation reaction. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to take this hydroxyl group from the carboxylic acid group of the first amino acid, and then take a hydrogen from the amino group of the second amino acid, and lose those atoms as a molecule of water. So now that's going to create a special kind of bond that's very important in protein structure. And so that bond is called a peptide bond. And that's the bond right here. So a peptide bond is always going to be next to a carbonyl carbon and a nitrogen atom. So just review the carbonyl carbon is the carbon with a double bond to oxygen and then the nitrogen atom right next door. And so now that we have just this very general um, polypeptide, we can look at the two ends of these polypeptides. So we know that these two ends are different from each other. So one end has an amino group and the other end has a carboxylic acid group. So whenever we're making polypeptides, uh, polypeptide synthesis always begins at the amino end of the polypeptide. So that's going to be this end right here. So right here is where we're going to start uh, polypeptide synthesis, so this is the very beginning of the polypeptide. So this end is also called the end terminus. And then the last uh, amino acid is going to be at the carboxyl end, or the C terminus. So now that we know what uh, proteins are generally, uh, how they're made and what their structure typically is, we can look at a very important class of protein called enzymes. So enzymes are going to be proteins that uh, speed up chemical reactions. That way our body uh, can have these reactions taking place at a rate that's actually useful to our cells. But regardless of what the enzyme is, or regardless of if it's not an enzyme, or how big the protein is, or what the protein's function uh, is, all proteins are going to have peptide bonds in them, and they're all going to be synthesized from the N terminus to the C terminus, and have this general structure, um, and then the, how those proteins are folded and the interactions that they have with other proteins is really going to dictate how they work and what their function is. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.